right. Hey, uh, teammates, it's Colonel Greenwald here with uh, a, a virtual uh, Forge interview today. And uh, we're talking with uh, Staff Sergeant Zach Falk, who is currently serving a MPA tour in Germany, right? Say hello yes, to sir. your teammates there. And hey, uh, hey, 944th, I miss you guys. I'm uh, over here in Germany holding it down, and I can't wait to get home and see everybody. Miss you. All right. Hey, so uh, so we're 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 really uh, glad to be able to speak with you today. And the purpose of these uh, interviews is that we uh, we we introduce uh, a, an outstanding airman uh, in the wing and learn a little bit about you, uh, why you joined the uh, the Air Force, and what you think it means to to be on this team. So why don't you just uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you're doing over there? Perfect. So, uh, yeah, my name's Zach Folk. I uh, didn't even enlist until I was 28, just wanted to make a difference. So after talking to a senior hunter at the EOD shop, I decided to join EOD. It's been two and a half, three years since I made that decision, and uh, I couldn't be more happy. So uh, this past summer, they approached me, uh, the captain and senior, and they presented the opportunity to come over here to Germany and do a six month long active duty backfill at the shop here, helping out the 52nd EOD in Spangdalem. And the reason why the 52nd EOD needed that is because they had a bunch of guys deploy and they basically didn't even have enough manning to uh, sustain operations at the shop. And so after a talk with the family, I decided that that was an opportunity I didn't want to pass up. So I've been over here helping out the 52nd. Awesome. How's it going so far? Uh, it's, I tell you what, after being at the range base there at Luke, helping out the, uh, the 56th EOD, uh, you know, clearing the UXOs off the, the bombing ranges out there coming over here to the 52nd, it's a completely different mission set, uh, totally different than what I'm used to. Uh, so it's a really cool opportunity. The, uh, the captain and the senior out here took me under their wing and I couldn't be happier. We, uh, actually last week, we just ran an entire base operation with every single squadron where, for a week long, 24 hours a day, everybody was on call, uh, basically reenacting a base attack where we were doing eight out runs, clearing UXOs off of the runway. Medical was out there uh, doing their thing, making sure everybody, uh, you know, got decontaminated. And uh, I was on the night shift. So from 7 p.m. till 7 a.m. every single day that week, I was out here running with the active guys. And uh, it was just awesome. Good training. Yeah, outstanding. And we can't wait to get you back home. And uh, we know that you're going to have some uh, some amazing lessons learned to uh, to share with your teammates when you get back here, and everyone's going to benefit from your experience. So that's that's uh, fantastic, and and thanks for stepping up and and filling this uh, uh, important role over there. Uh, it's a great time of year to be in Germany. I hope that uh, you know with the global pandemic and all, you've been able to get some good sightseeing and uh, and and experience the local culture as. Uh, you had a good time that way? Uh, it's funny, sir. I tell you what, it's a little bit like being at a Disneyland uh, when it's raining, right? You're still having a good time and everything's still perfect. Um, unfortunately, the Oktoberfest, the winter markets, that kind of thing, because of social distancing and COVID, got, uh, got closed down. However, exactly what you just said, being able to do the tourist thing, uh, go see all the different rivers, the castles, is kind of a double-edged sword. Some of the things got closed, but because of that, uh, it's been very underpopulated. So it, I have the opportunities to go by myself and there's almost nobody else at these touristy kind of destinations. So I have been taking advantage of that time when I'm not working. Oh, awesome. Well, great. Again, thanks for stepping up to, to do this uh, active duty tour. So, uh, so if you could just tell us a little bit about uh, why you decided to join in the first place. What uh, what prompted you to to join the military? As you said, it was a little bit later in life. You know, what made you join, and what does it mean to you to be on this team to uh, to be a reserve citizen airman? Yes, sir. Um, uh, kind of going back a little bit to the beginning of it, uh, the kind of the dream was, you know, you got to go to college, get the degree. So I did that. Uh, get all the toys. You got to get a boat, a motorcycle. I was doing that. And like I said, at the age of 28, sitting there working my nine to five uh, civilian job, there was a lot of people in the workplace, you know, just kind of talking and talking. And there was these problems that needed to be addressed. And I was just sitting there thinking, I was like, if I'm fit and I have the will to do this, like, let me go see how I can help out. 
And uh, so that's when I reached out and got a hold of the recruiters. And I, like I said, I just wanted to make a difference. And after talking to the EOD guys, I realized that that was a pretty, uh, a pretty good brotherhood if you could make it. And uh, so, yeah, I tell you what, that was, that was why I joined. And then like um, the EOD, uh, the EOD career in general is one of the only um, AFSCs where all the different branches go to the same school in Florida. And so I was classed with sergeants in the Marines, uh, seamen in the Navy, Army, lieutenants, everybody. I went with a captain who was CE. And so you're in this joint school going through together. And uh, so that was a really unique opportunity, getting to be integrated. And now I have friends in the different, uh, different armed forces. So that's pretty cool. I think what EOD means to me and what being a uh, reserve citizen airman is, is it kind of says that it's never too late. And even if you think that your life is on a certain path, you can still change it and you can still make a difference. Even if you are going to be a TR and two day a month, you're still going to get those deployments. Hopefully you're still going to pull your uh, annual tour and uh, these backfill opportunities. I mean, the active duty relationship that we have, I think is one of the most important relationships that we need to keep because those active duty guys really appreciate us and we appreciate them. And that's a really good relationship we have. And so, uh, so yeah, being a reserve citizen airman is literally just being ready to respond when active duty needs you or when that deployment comes up, you're trained up to where you need to be and you can just respond and backfill seamlessly and uh, just get the job done. Really. I think that's what it is. Just being able to get the job done when they need you. Awesome. Well, I tell you what, uh, you are making a difference and, uh, and we appreciate that you stepped up and you're doing that. And, uh, and I'm happy to be, uh, on, on your team and uh, proud of everything that you're doing there. So thanks for sharing that with us. And uh, last thing I'll ask is, is there any, uh, any friends or family that you want to give a shout out to? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, first of all, the family uh, taking care of everybody while I've been gone. I can't say enough about that. I mean, without a good family structure, as, uh, as you say at every one of your, uh, your commander's calls, having a good family back at home makes this possible. If I left and I had drama going on at home, there'd be no way that I could focus on getting the job done here. So thank you to my family. Also, I want to say thank you to my leadership element, uh, captain, senior, the active duty chief. He's a solid guy, and I can't say enough good things about the active duty EOD chief there. Also, the chief of CE will message. He'll check up on me, make sure everything's going good. And uh, and then lastly, the uh, the command I have here at the 52nd in Spang Dalem. Uh, they picked me up uh, from Frankfurt. They drove me two hours. They anything I need, they're there for me, and they want to make sure that I'm up to up to everything I have to help them get the job done here. So the 52nd, also, they've just been perfect to work for, and I can't say enough good things about them either. Awesome. Okay. Well, there you have it, teammates. Uh, Staff Sergeant Zach Falk, elite reserve citizen airman, getting the job done in Germany. All right. Fortune fight, y'all.